Hi there, this is Neil Davidson. Welcome to another tutorial here at avforums.tv. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at room EQ systems. And one of the biggest things that people have at this minute in time is trying to get the very best possible performance from their AV receiver in their home cinema system. For most of us, that really means in our living room. We know that there are compromises and we've looked at some of those compromises in an earlier tutorial here at avforums.tv. In this tutorial video, we're going to look at one system in specific, the Odyssey system. Um, it's the most common of the EQ systems, but we hope that the tips you learn in this tutorial will apply regardless of whether you have an Odyssey system, an MCAC system from Pioneer, or any of the other types that are out there. The most important thing with any automated room correction system is to make sure that you give the system good data to work with. Like any automated system, the old rule still stands, garbage in equals garbage out. There's no way around that, so let's make sure that we do our measurements properly. In the Odyssey system, the most important measurement is measurement one. The reason measurement one is so important is that that is how the Odyssey system determines our speaker level and channel delays, and of course we want to get those as accurate as possible. For position one, we want to position the microphone at the prime listening position, at ear level, and you can see that the microphone here is at normal seated ear level, and a tip is, if you want to find ear level, well, just sit on the chair and move the microphone so that it's in the right height. The final thing, and one of the most important things that people do wrong with an automated calibration system, is that the microphone mustn't get too close to the sofa sitting behind it or to the wall or to any other hard surface and the reason for that is this microphone is trying to measure the direct sound from the loudspeaker and also any of the reflections that are coming from the wall. If you put this microphone too close to the chair however what happens is that the sound bounces off the back of the chair comes over and causes a cancellation at the microphone. That's not a room acoustic problem, that's a microphone positioning problem, but it can have a huge impact on the results that you can actually achieve. What you can see is that we have approximately 30 centimetres of space between the microphone and the back of the chair. Now, that value may seem like a lot, but remember the resolution that you have for setting channel delays in your AV processor is normally going to be around 20 or 30 centimetres. And that type of distance there is not going to have any impact on the results other than a positive impact. The second thing that you must remember about the Odyssey system is that the measurement process is a two-step process. What happens is, when you start the measurement, it makes the bleeps that everyone is familiar with. However, once Odyssey stops making that noise, it actually spends quite a few seconds also measuring the background noise in the room. It's very important to remember that the measurement is taking place during that time, because if the Odyssey hears noise, people moving, coughing, cars outside, etc., what it can do is it can try and correct for that noise, um, and particularly that will affect your low bass frequencies, as the experience that I have. Um, so it's very important to remember to keep the noise absolutely to a minimum from the time you say start measurement and time, the time Odyssey says measurement completed. Now that we've completed measurement one, we want to move the microphone so that we can complete the rest of the measurements. Now one of the most important things to remember with Odyssey is we're trying to give the Odyssey system a good picture of what's happening in our room. Remember, garbage in equals garbage out, but if we can give it good data, it can give us good correction results. Now, what we must do is we must think of the seating area as a map. What we want to do is tell the Odyssey system about the acoustical problems that are happening within our seating area. Now, it's important to remember that Odyssey cannot perform miracles. If you have a chair that's way off to the side, the Odyssey is not going to correct for that chair. It might try, but it would interfere with the performance at your prime listening position. 
so you need to forget that stuff way off to the side. The second tip is you should never put the microphone outside the area spanned by the front left and right loudspeakers. Again, that's going to cause you all types of problems. So really what we end up with is a defined area where the chairs are, and in this room, that's our three-seater sofa. Once we've got this space defined, we need to think to ourselves, what does the Odyssey need to know to correct for the room acoustic problems? It needs to measure at defined data points. So the Odyssey system that we have here allows us to make up to eight measurements. What we can do is we can immediately see in this space good positions for those eight measurements. Here is position one, which is the very first position. That's ear level for the prime listening position. Position two, we would move it to this chair. Position three, we would move it to this chair. But what we then want to do is, we've told Odyssey information about the acoustical problems that are happening across the width of the room. But the Odyssey also needs to know about acoustical problems that are happening in the length of the room. So what we would want to do is move the microphone approximately one metre back from where it is just now, just in front of the chairs, and repeat one, two, three measurement positions. We now would have six sets of data. They're good data points and Odyssey can work with them. If we want to get even better results though, we can do two more measurements. A good place to do those two measurements is in between. One here and one here. That means that the Odyssey then has a very good set of information about what's happening in our listening area and it can do the best correction possible. Thanks for watching this tutorial here at avforums.tv. We hope that we've shown you that with the automated room correction systems, you can get fantastic results. However, always remember, garbage in equals garbage out. If you get a result that you think is nonsensical, then please just double check to make sure that there aren't weird acoustic problems in your room that was very difficult for the correction system to correct for. Won't you join us again next time for another tutorial here at avforums.tv.